Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Angular 19. Today we are going to learn about the how we can import and use a component in the Angular application in the Angular 19. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So how we can create a component. Okay. So with the help of this ng generate component and this is your component name. So whether it's to be a user component, whether it's to be a profile component, any component name, you will have to add it over here, right? So just copy this and paste in your terminal. So, okay. So here you can see that I have already add this ng generate component example, right? So it, this will create the four files that is component CSS, HTML, testing file, and the main logical file for the component.ps, okay? So this is already created here. You can see that the example and we have the component CSS, HTML, okay, example works, and the, we have a specification file for the unit testing, and we have this main file, component class file, okay, this is a TypeScript file, right, and we have a template, style URLs, everything is there, okay, and how we can use this in our main component, okay, so this is our app component, right, so I want to use that one, so what I need to do is just I need to use a selector for this, Okay, so this is the selector. I'm going to use it in our app component.html. Okay, I have added, but see here it's showing me the error that is not known element. So what I can do, I can import this into our app component.ts. And here you can see that I have imported. This is not required. So in the imports, I am going to use it. And here we have the example app, whatever in the example HTML file it is written. It will come over here save this and just check over there that uh, main app component example works okay so whatever i'm going to write it over here it will printing over here okay so this is how you can import a component into another one or the main file in the angular 19 because angular 19 using these standalone components okay any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day